Let's bring in Utah's Timmy Allen. Uh, the Utes certainly are one of those teams that uh, consistently under Coach K, the West Coast Coach K, are in the mix. And uh, Timmy, you had an interesting season last season. You had the Kentucky win, your breakout performance there. And uh, there were some bumps along the way. Um, how much more consistent do you think this U team can be? Um, a lot more. We definitely had our ups and downs last year. Um, I think we've had a great preseason. We've put some pieces together and a lot more flowing within our offense. And uh, I truthfully think we'll be a lot better on defense. Just we could tell with the energy and practice, it's more consistent day to day. Um, we're putting a lot more emphasis on that. We know we have to be a great defensive team to be consistent, especially on the road as we struggled um, in the pack. So um, I think we could, we could be a lot better all around, and I think we have the pieces to do it. All right, so this was an offseason like no other. How did you get better? Um, in a lot of ways, a lot mentally um, to start. Um, a lot of time at home just uh, thinking, trying to grow um, with myself and then my game, my ball handling, my jump shot, obviously, and uh, just trying to be a whole better uh, leader on this team as I can be. Um, I was thrown into that role earlier than I thought. And I thought I did a decent job last year, but um, I think I bought into the whole realm of things more this year and just another year of maturity helps um, for sure. So um, a lot of growth and a lot more mentally than physically, to be honest. All right, your playmaker, Rylan Jones, uh, might be one of the more underappreciated players at his position. Uh, I know he um, got a little bit of a baby face, uh, so uh, – <laughs> I'm sure you guys rib him about that a little bit, but, um, you know, he plays above the way he looks. I mean, he certainly plays, you know, at a high level. Uh, what's it like playing with him? It's easy. Um, a little bit of a baby face. He's actually put on some weight and he doesn't look as quite as young as the media uh, perceives him to be, but um, man, he makes it easy. Um, he's always looking for the open teammate, hits the open shot and he just makes plays all around the board, whether that's giving it up or making a play for himself. So it's fun. It's easy. Um, he's the type of PT you want on your team. So it's fun. I enjoy playing with Babyface Assassin. <laughs> uh, look, uh, numbers are rising all over the country, certainly in Utah, especially uh, out west. Um, you know, you guys have daily testing. What's yeah. it been like at the beginning of this process and then even now as restrictions have tightened up in terms of ensuring that you guys are out on that floor and continue to practice and then play? Well, you're basically in quarantine 24-7. Um, can't do it all a lot. Um, you got to be safe. It's not worth it. It's not worth the risk of it. Um, daily testing, like you said, come in early, get tested, um, and wear a face mask around the facility to get your test back saying that you're negative. Um, lifting groups, small groups, keep it spread out, face masks, all that, all the time. Um, if you get caught without it, you're, somebody's on your head. Um, so... It just it's all the precautions that you take daily just to keep the keep the risk down and um, just trying to be as consistent as you can with it. And even in the gym, when we're not doing stuff, we're spreading as much as possible. So um, just trying to be cautious of the whole thing. Um, kids here are rising, so we can't do much outside of basketball except schoolwork and um, get back in the gym. So um, it'll be interesting to see who can continue to lock in this um, throughout the country and continue to be safe. Well, to that point, how much responsibility are, uh, is on players like you, uh, one of the leaders of a team like this, to ensure that everyone takes care of their business, especially when you're out of that sanctuary on the court? Yeah, um, it's, it's big because you can't control what everyone does um, when they leave the facility. Um, just trying to hone in on it when we're in the locker room. I'm saying face mask, face mask up because one case is all it takes to get shut down for two weeks. So um, we really cannot afford that. Um, it's everyone has their own leadership role within it and you can only control what you do, but um, you don't want to ruin it for the rest of your team and your teammates and your coaching staff. So um, it's a big responsibility on everyone's shoulders, but um, I try to do what I can to ensure the safety as well.